So even though we still got three hours until opening, there's still quite a lot of people here. A lot of people in wizarding robes. So I'm guessing most people will be heading towards the wizarding world of Harry Potter. But I'm gonna head straight for the Jurassic World adventure. And today mainly focus on the different attractions in the park that are unique to Universal Beijing. So it looks like the queue is broken up into five different queue lines. You can see the entrance of the park right here, just past the palm trees. So there's still over an hour till opening. They've let us right near the entrance. So maybe they'll let us in early, we're not sure. So we are in the park, they let us in a little bit earlier, it's about 11.20. This is Hollywood. Everyone is running. I leave this part, we can get a bit of cover. So we've got the Universal Studios store. And a store this side too. The dark room where you can get your photos for the day. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So it seems most people are going to the right towards the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm going to go straight across to Jurassic World Adventure. This looks amazing. I can't believe I'm actually inside waiting for this park to open for two years now. So it looks like they was gonna do some sort of ceremony, but because of the rain. The lingerie. So that's Transformers Land. And I think there's a shortcut to a Jurassic World land here. You can see Minion Land over there. Wow, this looks amazing. There's Jurassic Flyers. I'm not sure if it's running today. So from this sign, it looks like it's not going to be open today. But Jurassic World Adventure is. And that's where I'm going to head to first. So we're going through the mountain, under Jurassic World Flyers. Wow. 
Wow, look at that. Backside of water. Hello. There he is. John Hammond himself. Wow. It's like a maze. <laughs> okay, through the maze. Oh wow. Here's the labs. Hello. Here's the right car. Wow. And we're here, we're at right entrance. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
Exit through the gift shop. Again, plenty of Jurassic Park merchandise as well as Jurassic World. It's cool bucket hats. Okay, let's move on. Bye bye. So I've just finished riding Jurassic World Adventure. My first thoughts were amazing. It reminded me of so many old Universal rides. I noticed a Jurassic Park reference with the spinning East Dock sign. And it reminded me a lot of the old Back to the Future ride at Universal Studios in Orlando. Just the way it felt. And I'm sure there's plenty other references in there, but yeah, what a great ride. Definitely be riding that again some point today or tomorrow. I think the rides in the, the other rides in the park haven't got a chance to beat that, but we'll see. I think the rain helps the Jurassic World aesthetic. I think this land looks amazing. We'll take a proper look later, but now we're gonna head towards the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and then uh, Water World, and then Kung Fu Panda Land. I think that's the Wizarding World, yeah. I wanna skip the Wizarding World. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda, okay, let's see. Oh, shit, shit.
so you can just see the tops of the houses in the Wizarding World. And this rock formation, I think it's unique to Universal Beijing, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure you can let me know down in the comments. But I've never seen this before. So, let's head to Waterworld and then Kung Fu Panda Land. This is Waterworld. Wow, this is really cool. It's got a restaurant, the Drifters Cantina. And then the Waterworld show. Let's go and check what show times are today. 12.30, 2, 4 and 5.30. Maybe I'll come a bit later when it stops raining. Wait times. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey already 90 minutes. So, can you guess which land I'm heading to now? So, I'm heading into the Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness, which I believe is the first ever whole land built indoors. Let's go take a look. Doesn't look like there's anyone in here. Wow. They've got some health services and a family center. Wow, this looks amazing. Looks like some play pieces. The dragons. Look at that. Lantern Park. So it looks like there's a whole indoor play area with slides and a restaurant down there. Lantern Park, the Panda Village Provisions, a shop. But I'm heading towards the boat ride. Kung Fu snacks. Oh, this is the Tree of Heavenly wis Wisdom. And some parlor games. Here's the carousel. All the different characters from Kung Fu Panda. Looks awesome. That's Mr. Ping's noodle house. This just looks amazing. So here's Journey of the Dragon Warrior. Hello. For the health, safety, and comfort of all guests, please be sure to wear a face mask. Maintain social distancing at all times. 
and kindly follow the instructions of Universal team members when queuing and entering attractions. Thank you for your cooperation, and be sure to have an epic day at Universal Studios Beijing. Huge queue line. This is probably one of the longest culies I've ever seen. Hey. Hello. So the boats look pretty big. We got a lot of people through this ride. I'm not sure why they need such a huge queue line, but it's fine.
So I've just been on the Kung Fu Panda dark boat ride. I think overall it was a good, a nice little ride. I have no idea why they have so much queue lines for it. But it was a nice ride. Good use of screens and audio animatronics and a nice storyline. So yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna move on to Transformers Land. So I'm now heading into Transformers Battle of the Allspark. Hello. So this is of course a clone of the ride that can be found at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, which was a clone of uh, a reskin of Spider-Man in Islands of Adventure. Yeah.
，现在怎么办？归敌求饶吧！休想！我们不跑了，特工们！他既然想要脱轨，那咱们就给他！快过！气与果敢拯救了地球，做得好，特工们！没想到临时组建的队伍成功的完成了任务，队友们，感谢你们勇敢迎接挑战，我们回基地吧。在我完全停稳之前，请保持坐姿。车门打开时，请注意手脚，谨防夹伤。Oh, right. And for all you English speakers, please remain seated until I come to a complete stop. And watch your hands and feet as I open the door. 欢迎你们再来和我一起执行任务So Transformers Battle of the Allspark, we all know that. I prefer Spider-Man. But it's nice that they added it here. And there's a whole land. And of course here is the Deceptor Coaster. A reskin of the Incredible Hulk at Islands of Adventure in Orlando. I think there's a bit of a queue for that right now, so I'm gonna save that for later or tomorrow. So right now I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to head somewhere to get some food. I think maybe Mel's Diner over in Hollywood is pretty close. We're heading out of Transformers Metro Base into back into Hollywood. So this is one side we haven't seen yet. Some restrooms. I believe here is a theatre. There's no show planned for this stage at the moment, but I'm sure they will in the future. A stall selling snacks and drinks. The other entrance of Jurassic World is La Nuba. Looks like they got some cars from the Fast and Furious franchise. Which I'm a little confused, I don't know why. They didn't put the Fast and Furious ride here because it is a huge franchise in China. So it's here, Beverly Hills. Here's the Universal Theatre, which houses the show How to Train a Dragon, Untrainable, a stage show. We've got four shows today. 30, 4.30, 6.30 and 8.30. Opposite they got Sunset Grill. A sit down restaurant. That's really cool. Hello. Hello. Alright later I'm gonna check out this show. Lights camera action starring Steven Spielberg and Zhong Yi Mao, a famous Chinese director. First, I need some something to eat. Then I'll go and check out that show. So Mel's 
drive in is just towards Minion Land. And cars and bikes for you to check out. Hello, are you open? Oh. Hello. Hello. Let's have a look. Uh, so I went for the double cheeseburger with fries and coke, a combo, and that came to 108 yuan, which is about uh, 15 or 16 dollars. So not too bad. Um, we'll see how it tastes. Really good actually, one of the best burgers I've had in China. They nailed it. Loads and loads of pickles. There's Mel's drive in. Really, really good. I would recommend lights, camera, action. Let's go check it out. Got some posters here Apollo 13, The Mummy, Jaws, and Jurassic Park. Another huge queue line. Some other movie posters, I noticed Earthquake, the old ride at Universal Studios, got The Thing, The Invisible Man, <laughs> Classic, <laughs> and Minion. Got E.T. Sing and Jurassic World. To all future directors and aspiring producers, welcome to Lights, Camera, Action. Please move all the way to the far end of the room, filling in all available space. Please remember that eating, drinking, smoking, and flash photography is not permitted in the sound stages. For your safety, as well as the safety of others around you, please stand clear of the automatic doors and remain standing throughout the entire show. 欢迎大家来到灯光摄像开拍，请您和您的家人一起站在蓝色圆点上，保持与其他人之间的安全社交距离，并且在观看的途中不要摘下您的口罩，非常感谢您的配合。It's on stages like this that filmmakers can create anything that we or you can imagine. 在这儿，我们可以带你们去这个星球上的任何地方 ，or any other planet.
pages like this. Let us go on journeys of imagination, journeys to any place, any moment in time. Movies can take us to where reality ends and the legend begins. But no matter how amazing or spectacular the story, we always find ourselves in the characters on the screen. Which brings us to the scene that we have created just for you. It's set in an old boathouse, seaside, just as a super typhoon is about to hit the city.
热物品从左侧离场，附近在北京环球住宅区度过愉快的一天。谢谢，感谢您的体验，我的近期住院于北京环球网。So that was lights, camera, action. Reminded me a lot of earthquake. The old earthquake ride at Universal Studios in Orlando with the pre-show and the special effects is pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna head to Minion Land. But first, let's take a look at the lake and Jurassic World. So finally, the sun has come out. Still raining, but look at that. Got the Wizarding World over there, Jurassic World land, Hollywood, and you can see the Deceptor Coaster just behind there. All right, let's go check out Minion Land. Got Bake My Day, it sells cakes and snacks, Minion Munchie. Seen a lot of people with the exclusive popcorn bucket, the Minion bucket. And there's loads of different Minions dotted around this land. You can see here, there's one scene. Got the Lair, which is a sit down restaurant. There's Minion Mart. for all your Minion merchandise. There's the Spiscal Me. 35 minute queue at the moment. It's already in Orlando, I've already been on it, so I'll check that out later. Let's go and have a look at Super Silly Funland. Loopsy Doopsy, it's a 45 minute wait. It's an indoor kids roller coaster. Silly snacks. It's like loaded fries and loaded tots. So here's the minion meet and greet. So cute. Seems to be a pretty big queue for that. Other midway games like in Kung Fu Panda Land. And we have Super Swirly. It's a 20 minute wait. We're just on the other side of Super Silly Fun World. Sorry, Super Silly Fun Land. We've got the Paradise Mall, which is kind of like a quick service restaurant. This looks like another meet and greet. Wow, I think this is a queue to get popcorn. I knew that popcorn bucket was popular, but I didn't think it would be this popular. Jesus, that's crazy. It's like that thing, you see someone with the popcorn bucket and then everyone wants it. 
They should maybe think of adding an extra location to sell that. This is Sing on tour. Next showing 3.30. And we're back at Despicable Me. Some Sing merchandise. Some more minions. And Groove Submarine. Okay, I've been putting it off, but I'm gonna head to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I know it's gonna be the busiest land in the park, but it's time to check it out. Got another food stand, the little chicken, selling chicken legs. So you can see here, there's a separate queue line just to get into the Harry Potter land. So here's Hogsmeade. Hello. So yes, this is by far the busiest land in the park. Honey jigs. There's the queue for butterbeer. We got frozen butterbeer and souvenir steins. Got hog's head. and the three broomsticks. So this is the stage where they have the little stage shows, the frog fire. Some more butterbeer. We've got flight over there. If you like for that. So 25 minutes for Flight of the Hippogriff and only 70 minutes for Forbidden Journey. 
which isn't too bad. Okay, I think I might try that one tomorrow. So that was Hogsmeade. It's been a while since I've been to Universal in Orlando. Um, it looked pretty similar to there, so maybe you can let me know if it's the same or if there were some differences. I don't remember seeing this. So there is a two o'clock showing of Waterworld. But it's two minutes to, so I think I might be a little late. Let's see if I can get in there. The sun has finally come out. Oh, we can make it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go water world. Some amazing theming just for one show. We have a statue for the Mariner. Of course, Kevin Costner played him in, in the movie. So I'm at the hotel now. Check out this ET picture. Insane. So I'm on the sixth floor. That's awesome. Wow. It's going to be right at the end. I know it. Of course, right at the end. Wow. It's got two showers. Hmm. Oh, here's a shower and this is the toilet, I guess. Yes. We've got a kettle and free water and some cool cups. 
some robes and a spare pillow and blanket. A nice sliding door for the bathroom with another mirror. Wow, nice big bed, the Hollywood sign. Got some Jurassic World artwork. I think this is another Jurassic World. Big TV. Let's have a look at my view. So that's the other hotel. And it looks like this is the parade being prepared. Wow. So the parade's not till 5.30, it's about another hour. It's just gonna take a rest and then head out for the parade. It's really cool, we've got a sneak peek. And you can see the back of Minion Land. Let me zoom out. Over here to the left. That's really cool. So I don't have a theme park view or a city walk view. This is just a, a basic room. So that's the other hotel, new hotel, and the entrance to this hotel fountain. I'll check that out tomorrow morning. That's really cool. And a nice sofa and table. So I, when I checked in, I did ask, I know that if you stay at the hotel, you can go in early, but I assume just because on the opening week, they may not have done it. But I asked her and she said I can go in an hour early. So the park opens tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I can go in at 8 a.m. I think that's a pretty good deal. So I just come out the room back into Universal Studios Beijing for their parade, Universal on Parade, which is about to start in about 10 minutes. Let's take a look.
まあ、このぐらいになるのかな。まあ、だから、まあ、それが、こうは。
Okay, I'm gonna head into the Majestic Theater to watch the How to Train a Dragon show. Next showing in 30 minutes. Let's check it out.
，说不定真的没办法修。小哥哥，你不能就这么放弃，这个村子需要你。如果你控制不了那条龙，你爸爸会杀了他的。你刚也看见了，我根本做不到，我的想法是错的。那梅亚仔呢？所有人都以为驯服龙、驯服任何龙都是不可能的，可是你做到了。而且是最不可能驯服的夜煞。是，可是这条龙它不一样。你看看他干的好事儿吧，整个村子差点被他烧了个精光。那你还驯服过那条超危险的热锅龙呢？没有人想过这个成功。热锅龙可是海上霸主，所有人都怕他们。可是你做到了。
什么？毛老母。So untrainable, the How to Train a Dragon show was awesome. Although I, I couldn't understand what they were singing and saying, the special effects and the dragons were just amazing. So definitely check out this show if you come to Universal Beijing. I'm now heading to Jurassic World again. I'm gonna grab some food. I'm not sure where from, and there's a couple of choices there. So I'm gonna have a look and I'll show you what I get. Birds of Prey Cafe. I think I'm gonna go with a Sichuan chicken noodles with spicy peanut sauce and pan fried pork dumplings. So I went for the Sichuan peanut noodles with chicken 
and some fried pork dumplings with a dipping sauce. With a drink, it was about 108 altogether, which isn't too bad really for what you get. That's about 15 to 16 dollars. So my battery died while I was eating. The noodles and dumplings were really good. Really big portions, really filling. Um, so definitely check it out if you're here. I rode Jurassic World Adventure again because it was only 30 minute wait and it's amazing. It's really, <laughs> probably, probably the best ride in the world right now. Like, if you went on Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom and then you went on that, there's no comparison. So it's getting pretty late. I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna head to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to watch the nighttime show and then call it a night. Check out the moon here. Never looks big on video, but in real life, it's much bigger. And next to the Jurassic World sign, it's incredible. All right, let's go check out this nighttime show. Hogsmeade at night. Still really busy.
So I'm just going to share them with you now as I walk back to the hotel. Overall, it's been an amazing day. It didn't start off well with the rain and I messed up doing the live stream for the grand opening. But Jurassic World Adventure, like I said earlier, probably, probably my favorite ride in the world right now. Uh, Kung Fu Panda Land is an amazing addition and it's, it's so beautiful. And it's great that it's indoors so it can be enjoyed for all seasons. The shows were really good. I was dead against them bringing Waterworld here just because there's no fandom for the film. So I thought no one would like the show. But seeing the audience reaction, watching the show, I totally get it. And they loved it. I loved it. So I'll definitely be checking that out again tomorrow. And the How to Train a Dragon show, Untrainable, was amazing. Even though I didn't understand, it was still a really cool show. And I imagine them bringing that to other universals around the world. All the food I've had today has been really good. Really, a little expensive, but it's theme park food. But really tasty, really filling. All the food's really good. So what an amazing day at Universal Studios Beijing. Can't wait to come back tomorrow. If you're ever in Beijing, this is definitely a must-do destination now. And it's definitely gonna rival Shanghai Disneyland. Okay, I think that's me done. Thanks for joining me on this amazing day. And I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addicts.